We've got a caller on the line, so we've got call-ahead seating. Let's go out to Jeff in New Jersey. Jeff, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing today? Uh, doing well. How are you, Steve? Very good. Thanks so much for asking. And uh, I know we're going to talk about Intel. So uh, tell the folks uh, what, what you're doing and how I can best help you. Sure. Um, so I have a, uh, like a policy for myself to not uh, hold a position over an earnings report. Okay. But I'm very conflicted about Intel. I'm looking at the daily chart, and there's a beautiful rounded bottom there. It's looking very bullish. It just kind of broke out a little bit today, pulled back a little bit, but it's looking really bullish. But the uh, earnings report is um, on the 23rd this week after the market closes, okay. and I would really like to get some uh, calls on it. But <laughs> but normally, you know, I feel like uh, earnings reports are crapshoots, so I'm, I'm kind of conflicted, and I, I wanted to ask uh, your thoughts on it. So my first question would be, how has that worked for you, generally speaking? Is that work? Um, would you I say it's worked have, to your advantage? Uh, really good metrics, but I, I would say it's about 50-50, uh, somewhere in there, as far as um, how earnings report uh, relates to the uh, setup on the on the chart. Usually, okay. I'm glad that I did that. I'm not holding the stock at an earnings report because you know there are surprises often. Sure. Uh, so I really should stick with that, but this chart formation just looks so tempting that um, I thought I should get a second opinion. So this is great. I, I think this. So for that, thanks for that explanation. That's really helpful. Um, and so today's activity, as an example, Intel. If we take a look at the daily time frame chart, so something to add to maybe your thinking here is the fact that there is a, a bear structured daily profile. Now, what that means, there's really three lines, or oftentimes there's three lines. There's a top. The top is uh, identified in red. The bottom is green. The center is a cyan uh, bluish uh, type color. Now, the top of a box is where sellers are lined up. The center of the uh, box is where both buyers and sellers believe there's fair value with inside that price range. Well, the price range here is between 6013 and 5729. But the t uh, center of that profile is at 5977, very close to the top. At the top, there's just sellers. At the center line, there's both buyers and sellers. Well, in this case, because it's so close to the top, there's more sellers located between 5977 and 6013. However, what price has done today, it's overtaken that. And a close above that, which would be 6013, and I would say two closes above that, so tomorrow, would be suggesting that there's a real breakout above resistance on the daily time frame. The last time that price was up here was on the trading day of uh, December 30, it was uh, January 2nd. Now, the volume there was about 1.7 or 17 million, yeah, about 17 million shares. You're at 17 million shares right now, so you're pushing to that swing point with volume. That's a nice thing. The question is, if it closes above that, and, and by the way, with regard to support, so your downside action uh, would be about 57.29, unless it just got awful out there, but that would be your support. So, to, so you want to use that that thought process with regard to what's your current uh, holding price. Although you're, I think you're taking a look at trying to just play this as, if I'm correct here, just simply play this as, as some type of call option going into earnings? Or do you currently have a holding? Uh, well, I don't have a position now. And yeah, you know, just gonna get some call options, but my, like if there was no earnings report, before I knew the, the before I looked up the earnings report, I had a target up around 64 because of the AB, equals CD okay. kind of yeah. pattern, yeah, right? So it looks like, it, and also there's a 61.8% FIB level up there around 64. Um, so I was, uh, that, that's what I was going to target. But before, you know, I take a position, I always check the earnings reports. I go, oh, no. <laughs> well, um, yeah. So resistance-wise, so the, one of the roles for us is to try to identify support and resistance. And on the daily, which we've just covered, the weekly and the monthly, price is above resistance of its TAS market profile. So support is going to be on any move lower. It's going to be somewhere in those profiles. could be the top, the center, or the bottom. When you're above the top, the top really becomes the potential support. But you have to also look to what's inside there. Now, would you take the call position? Should we take the, should, you know, be, yeah, it's breaking out, but should you take, what are the elements inside the charts to maybe suggest caution? Well, price is moving higher, doing less relative energy. So if there were to be some type of bearish reversal candle, say tomorrow, then you would not want to take that trade. 
with uh, because I would think that the markets would be signaling to you that price is at least going to pull back and test support. We don't have that right now. You just have a cautionary single signal on the uh, daily time frame out here. If I look to the larger time frame, the uh, weekly, and then we'll go to the monthly. Uh, on the weekly, do we see any sign of a top? We don't. We don't from a pattern standpoint. There's uh, you had mentioned an A to B equals CD pattern. If we take a look at it from a weekly standpoint, price is moving up towards the 1.618 A to B equals CD level. That would be 62.16. Does not mean that price would stop there. You're in wave number five on a weekly time frame. That's not necessarily a topping signal. Price above Stevie's green line, 59.48. So, you know, that, that there's nothing bearish about the weekly chart for Intel that I see. And there's nothing bearish about the monthly time frame chart once we expand this out. Other than price is also moving higher, doing less relative energy. But until the bearish reversal candle shows up, you, you know, you, you'd be guessing. I would be, I would be guessing to say that you, it's just a cautionary sign. So I guess in the end here, um, you know, you, I don't see a reason to not take that trade. Uh, but I wouldn't load up the truck necessarily. I'd rather see you take that trade when Intel's really making a bottom. You know, and all it's doing right now is it's in this bullish mode and you're trying to figure out, uh, you know, maybe where it's headed to. Is any, right, well, I I, and I don't think I answered your question before. I'm sorry. I think you're asking if I have a, a level for support. And yeah, I do have a level of support is right below. Uh, the swing low of that slow ground bottom, and there's also a 50-day uh, moving average uh, right under there, also. Yeah. So, so on I the daily, so so stop right. So under that. yeah. So your tools, that's great. So you've got that. I would add to support levels other than the profiles. My green line, which is about 60.13, give or take, right now. So that would be a a level of support. So for me, the swing points themselves are not. I've shied away from using the the swing points as support or resistance but 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 i'm not going to try to i'm not going to talk you out of that uh i don't want to talk you out of that but here's the i think the question was really you're looking for information you know should you would it be advisable to take that trade i don't well, see specifically with consideration of the earnings report coming up in a couple of days yeah so the the earnings report piece of it that's why i was trying to understand you know your background with regard to has that worked for you because if it's worked i would never want to try to talk you out of it. But here's what we know as we go into this break, and that's real simple. Um, Intel looks bullish. It's got a couple caution signs, but it, look, it looks bullish. And so your signal suggests to take the trade. I'm going to say go ahead and do it. Just don't back up the truck. Okay. I thank you very much. You bet. Have a great uh, day. And folks, we'll be right back.